why you should listen to Young Equity. Yeah, um, you know, people tell me all the time, you know, hey, you know, I think what you're doing is great. I think um, talking about finances is cool, but why is it a wave? Why, why are financial podcasts a thing? Well, here, this is the deal here, okay? When I was a younger guy, 18, you know, I, I wasted a lot of money. I got into a lot of, you know, credit card debt. Um, I was trying to be somebody that I wasn't going out to the clubs, you know, buying sections, smoking hookah, whatever it is, right? <laughs> Doing my thing. my Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Vibing. And I realized, like, that that's not substantial. I'm going to become, I'm going to be old one day, man. You yeah. Know? And I enrolled into my MBA program, and they were teaching us a lot about, you know, the stock market, and they had, like, a, a virtual game that we could play uh, via Investopedia. And... There was a guy who had already had like $500,000 in his uh, Merrill Lynch account. And he had been in the uh, military. And so he kind of taught me like, look, man, this is what you need to look for. I started building my, my spreadsheets. And from that moment, I started investing. Over time, I've made great gains in the stock market. And at this point, I know what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. So, and on top of that, when I was 25, I purchased my first home, and a lot of people can't say that they purchased their first home at 25. And recently, at the age of 28, I bought another home. I sold that one, the first one. Took that, the, that equity, and I rolled it into another home. I also have investment properties. Uh, we made pretty good strides over the week with our investment property out, out there in Dallas. We're renovating it right now. It's a, it's a pretty much a teardown, but we're gonna salvage it. We're working on the the walls. We're working on um, some of like the drywall stuff, the uh, the kitchen. We're building out an island. I mean, these are things that I'm that I'm interested in. You know, earning some type of passive income, having seven streams of income versus one. So that's why I believe you should listen to Young Equity. Yep. Um, I mean, I couldn't have said it any better. I mean, uh, I think at the end of the day, uh, you know, when we came together, we started this podcast. We just said, hey, for some people, there's an educational gap when it comes to finances. Because him and I, you know, knew people who made good salaries, some salaries even better than mine or his, that just weren't very good with money. And um, what I've learned over the years is like, hey, I've made so many financial mistakes. And I thought I was doing good because I was like, oh, I have a good savings account. Right. So I must be doing right. No, I was not doing good at all. And I mean, you know, if I made better financial decisions five years ago, who knows? I could be a millionaire right now. Yeah. yeah. And I think the point of this channel is that we're going to give you the shortcuts. You know, uh, we're not going to have you intimidated with the home buying process. You know, I didn't buy my first home until I was 30. And some of that had to do with I was intimidated by it. I was like, man, I'm, you want me to put all my money into this? You want me to, you know... Uh, drain half of my savings account for this because I didn't understand. But over time of educating myself, I did understand the importance of uh, owning a home, but you know, five years after graduation. So when you watch this channel, you'll be able to get the information to quickly know that, hey, if you have the money, buying a home is superior to renting. Don't be house poor, but if you have the money, if you have it in your savings, go buy a home. Because that home, in a way, is a bank account. Because you will always own the equity in that home. So what you really need to look at in a home is, you know, uh, you can look at the equity as a savings account. And then you're just looking at what you're paying in uh, insurance, interest, taxes. Mm -hmm. Right? That's what you should be comparing against what you pay in rent. But I didn't understand this concept at that time. Um, the importance of networking. Um, I've made a lot more money through networking than anything I've done on my own. And that's important. Uh, the importance of mentorship, because a mentor can help you grow your network and he can put you on game and give you leads that help you make more money. So these are all the types of things that we talk about on this channel. And if you follow them, I mean, you're going to be successful. It may not happen overnight. I don't have any get rich quick schemes. Uh, that's not my MO because one, well, I'm not rich, but I didn't get to where I'm at overnight. Um, I had to work hard and it took time. But hey, 
I can give you some tips. And instead of taking you 10 years, maybe it'll take you five. And that's why you should listen to Young Equity. Hey, man. That was beautiful, man. That was beautiful. <laughs> that was beautiful. But yeah. seriously. <laughs> nah, but seriously, though. Like, honestly, man. Like, we're, we're not trying to give information to sound like we know what we're talking about more than anybody else. We just want to educate people so they can get to where they want to be. So if we could help you out in any way or drop some comments or, you know, you want to invest in a business or invest in the stock market and you have questions for us, let us know. I'm, I'm down to help out. I'm down to give people my perspective on how I save or how I invest. I mean, I tell people all the time, why don't you, people that, that make lower than $40,000 a year, why don't you start with Acorns? That, that's an investing tool that nobody thinks about, right? You do the roundups, you you can submit a recurring deposit to Acorn and they invest it for you. I tell people about, you know, robo investing all the time, yes. betterment, dollar cost averaging, they invest it for you. I mean, if, if you're not a genius at the stock market, no one is. I'm not an expert. Are you an expert? I'm not an expert. <laughs> <laughs> Copyright that. Yeah. But seriously, get robo investing. Start saving your money. Live below your means. These are things that we we preach and that's what we're actively doing. So what would you consider to be like a step one for somebody who does go to work, who does have a full time job already, but their finances are a mess? I would say, first of all, look at your, your housing situation. Are you living at home? Are you renting? If you're renting, are you living in that twenty five percent of your, your income range? If you're not, then maybe I would explore something that you can afford on top of that. Do you have debt? If you have debt, you need to kill the debt before you can actually invest in something. And then I would say, before you invest, own a home. So save for a home. Because like you mentioned, having equity is important. You could take that equity and use that to invest in something totally different. Equity is, I mean, it's just the key to financial freedom. So. Yep. Um, Hold on, is that three steps? That's three steps? Hey, you giving them game, man. I'm sure. <laughs> That's three steps. I feel um, like if we had concise, those are three steps. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I agree. I mean, um, yeah, man, the first thing I'm just going to look at is just look at your expenses. Get them, create a written budget. Yeah. And that's, I mean, usually people's biggest expense is living arrangements. So, um, yeah, you need to find a way to live at about 25 to 30% of what you make. Uh, for your living expenses. So uh, if you're living in an apartment, it's a luxury apartment, it's 50% of your income, consider getting a roommate. If you live in an expensive city, you know I'm going to say move out of that expensive city. <laughs> if you don't want to move out of that expensive city, then you might need a four people in a house a roommate situation. I mean, there's always ways, and it's going to make you uncomfortable, but um, you know, this is just a setup for the come up, you know? I mean, at the end of the day, like once you start hitting your stride and you're making the correct financial decisions and your money's working in a good direction, rarely does it dip. I mean, you're going to have a little bit of ups and downs, but it usually trends up, especially when you have the psychology aspect of it down. Once you have the correct mindset, you're going to keep making money. I mean, I can tell you now, since I started doing this podcast, I've made a lot more money and I haven't made a dollar from directly from doing this podcast yet. But um, in other areas of my life, I have made more money. So it's a mindset, man, at the end of the day. Do you want to be great? Do you want to be regular? And what do you consider to be regular? <laughs> That's a good point. What do you consider to be regular? Um, another thing, can you live off of $500 every two weeks? I've gotten so uncomfortable to where it's like, what, what can I do to invest everything I have and live off of just... Five hundred dollars every two weeks, and that's gas. Food. That's gas. That's food, haircut. That's I mean, everything, man. You know, during the pandemic, I have that luxury of just working from home. But that's what I'm trying to. That's what I'm trying to do. That's my uncomfortability right now. Five hundred dollars every two weeks. How can I do it? Invest everything else. You know, I got. Uh, I actually got myself on a written budget, and I was on it for months. I, I'll, I'll be honest. I mm -hmm. took a pause from the written budget. Okay. I, I just needed a mental break. I'll be back on it December first. But um, I just learned a lot of good habits from being on the budget, where I haven't went crazy. I'm still saving at a similar rate. Uh, but I'll start back the written budget December first, and 
you know, just cutting out the fat. And also this month, though, I've just done a lot of, of uh, more investing. So I've invested more in the market. I invested more in my reselling business. So hopefully those will pay dividends for me. Oh, yeah, for sure, man. Yeah, man. Well, that is why you should listen to Young Equity. If not, that's cool. <laughs> that's cool. We good. We good. <laughs> um, but if you want to listen to us, hey, we're very interactive. Shoot us, a, shoot me a DM on uh, Instagram. Shoot him a DM on Instagram. We'll that's chop cool. it up with you. Give you some one-on-one advice. Get it now while it's free because one day we might start charging. <laughs> uh, yeah. Big time. Big time. Yeah. Uh,